So to get yourself going with the support centre, firstly what you'll get is a, an email from ProVendor like, like this one here. And this allows you to uh, register your uh, account and you set up your password. So simply click on the link. It'll take you through to this, this screen. Pop in your full name, Nick Wilshire. Put in a password. If you want to make it something as simple as ProVendor, then go ahead. Save and continue. And that's done. Now that by default takes you through to this browser view of the Jura service desk, which is OK, um, but it's not as good as a third party app we're, we're recommending you you sign up for. So let's go over and have a look at that. If we go back to the email here are the further down the welcome email. We've got the details here. So we need to download the following app from your app store, mobile for JSD portal. Now we've already got that downloaded. So let's just go and find that. Here it is. So you can see we found here the mobile for Jura service desk app. It's the blue one with the headphones. Now this is the first screen you come to and it prompts you for the URL. And as we've, as per the welcome email, the URL to enter is Provend shop dot at Lassian dot net. Have I got that right? Yes. So we now we validate or submit URL. Next screen, ignore the bit at the bottom. You don't have access to any service. That's because you have not logged in yet. So now click top right, log in. Now this is the your email address that we sent the registration email to. In my case, nick dot w at provender provend vendor vending dot com dot au password whatever you put in and we're into the into the app click on the icon there and that takes you into the pro vendor portal so this is the initial screen this is where you can create any type of ticket for yourself for whatever help you needed you need second tab at the bottom shows any any uh, open requests that any open tickets that you have access to for your organization notifications on the third tab Shouldn't be anything there at this, on this example. And finally, settings on the far right. What I'd like you to do is just to show that you've got this far and that you've got the access now is to create a quick test ticket. If you go to Service Desk Help, click on Help with Service Desk. Simply just put in Test. None of the others are compulsory, so Let's create that ticket. OK, and there it is. Now, if we look at. Look at list of requests, it's now it's now there. There are a couple of gotchas with this at the moment, which we're just trying to work through. One is occasionally this. This app seems to log you out. Um, so if you come, if you ever come into it and find that it says authorization denied or something similar, 
you will have to go in, sign out and sign in again. It's something we're trying to work through with the vendors of this. Not They say they fixed it, but we are still seeing it occasionally. Uh, secondly, the emails that are generated by Jura, and here's one here, can send you off to back to the default browser. So the the an email relating to an update on on this ticket, if you click on the view request, it will take you back to the default browser window rather than the app. So just just bear that in mind, um, and don't get confused if you end up back in in the in the in the browser window. It's always best just to take that email and then go to the app to look for the look for the ticket it relates to. But they're fairly minor. I hope uh, I hope that will work well for you. OK, so that's it. So that should get you going with uh, using the mobile for JSD app. If you've got any further problems, questions, whatever, just feel free to sing out. Give me a call. Send me an email. Details are on the email I've just been sending out.